Arlington National Cemetery is 150 years old. Just across the Potomac River from Washington, D.C. is the final resting of the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice in America's most recent wars, especially Iraq and Afghanistan. On a hillside rising above the Potomac River and overlooking Washington, D.C. stands Arlington House, the Ninth Cemetery Mansion, seems out of the place amid the more than 250,000 military grave sites that stretch out around it. Yet when construction began in 1802, the estate was not intended to be a national cemetery. More than 4 million people visit the cemetery annually. It averages about 5,000 funerals each year. Nearly 5,000 unknown soldiers are buried at Arlington National Cemetery. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers has never been officially named. It is a memorial of the dead of World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. More than 3,800 former slaves are buried at Arlington. Mostly Section 27, their marker, <laughs> marker stones usually have an engraving of either civilian or citizen on them. During Memorial Day weekend, American flags are placed at every grave within the cemetery. President Hummer Hoover oversaw the first National Memorial Day ceremony at Arlington <laughs> Cemetery in 1929. In John A. Logan, commander in chief of the Grand Army of the Republic, officially proclaimed May 30th as Decoration Day. The, they decorated the graves of comrades who died in defense of their country during the late rebellion with flowers and decorations in 1868 with General Ulysses S. Grant in attendance and General James Garfield as the featured speaker. De Decoration Day was eventually renamed Memorial Day. The Arlington National Cemetery is the largest cemetery in the United States and it is an unofficial site devoted to America's most hallowed ground and to the heroes and the pathfinders who rest in eternal peace and honored glory there. Arlington National Cemetery contains the remains of more than 400,000 people from the United States and 11 other countries buried there since the 1860s. The Arlington Estate was originally owned by George Washington Park, because this adopted grandson of George Washington, his daughter Mary Ann Rudolph. Randolph Custis, who married Robert Ely, inherited the state. It was abandoned by the Lees during the Civil War and used as headquarters for the Union Army. Funerals are normally conducted six days a week, Monday through Saturday. Arlington averages 27 to 30 funerals, con including internment and internment each weekday and six to eight services. On Saturdays, Arlington National Cemetery is administered of the Army. As a live, living tribute, there are 36 memorial trees for the Medal of Honor recipients. Burial in Arlington is generally limited to active retired and former members of the armed forces. Medal of Honor recipients, high-ranked ranking federal government officials and their dependents. They, the tomb has the following words inscribed here rests in honor, glory, and American soldiers known but to God. In 1864, Secretary of War Edwin M. Staten uh, official designed to, designed it Arlington Mansion and 200 surrounding acres as a United States military cemetery. There was there has been two presidents buried at Arlington National Cemetery. 
President Kennedy and President Taft have been buried there.